shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? Ah, oh, poor my lord, what tongue shall smooth thy name when I, thy three hours' wife, hath mangled it? Wherefore, villain, didst thou kill my cousin? That villain cousin would have killed my husband. Back, back, foolish tears, back to your native spring. Your tributary drops belong to woe, which you mistaking offer up to joy. My husband lives, that Tybalt would have slain. And Tybalt's dead, that would have slain my husband. All this is comfort, wherefore we by then? Some word there was, worse than Tybalt's death, that murdered me. Oh, I would forget it, fame, but oh, it presses to my memory like damned guilty deeds to sinners' minds. Tybalt is dead, and Romeo vanished. That one word vanished, had slain ten thousand Tybalt's. Tybalt's death was woe enough if it had ended there, or if sorrow woe delights in fellowship, and needly will be ranked with other griefs. Why follow not Tybalt's dead, thy father or thy mother, nay, or both, which modern lamentation might have moved? But with a rearward following Tybalt's dead, Romeo perished. To speak that word is father, mother, Tybalt, Romeo, Juliet, all slain, all dead. Romeo is banished. There is no end, no limit, measure, bound. And that word's death, no words can that woe sound. <laughs>